the currency, your money, goes up, okay, as your cost of living goes down, those necessary things. And if, if they want to play crony capitalism, they could do it with high-end stuff, okay, the luxury items. But don't do it with essential human needs, but that's exactly what they did do because this is most effective. They get you by the throat. They get you by the testes, by the ovaries, whatever, however you want to look at it. They got you, man. You need it to survive. You got a, your housing costs. So that was it. They focused on the housing costs. That's why the 2008 bailout was so outrageous. And 90 plus percent of the American people were opposed to it. Even if they didn't understand these economics intellectually, they understood them intuitively, instinctively. They knew it was wrong and immoral. No, don't bail out these freaks. They did this. They, they made their bed, let them lay in it. Let them get a haircut. Okay, you don't pick on the low-hanging fruit, but that's what they did by stealing people's houses through these foreclosures. It's horrible. We're in a mess. We're in a world of hurt. We've stepped in the dog do so far. Now it's not only in our sinuses, man. It's coming out our ears, okay? We're, we're, it's up to our eyeballs. And, and if these people get their way, they're going to blind us. So we're just going to be groping around in, in, in this in the deep depths of the dog do, you know, maybe with our scuba masks on. I mean, I don't know what these people are shooting for, but they're sick and twisted. They're madmen and women. They're insane people. They're deranged people. They're, they're diabolical people. They're devilish people. Do you understand whether they know it or not? Their God is Lucifer, the God of this world, the establishment God. They just want more money. They just want more power and control. They're sick and twisted puppies. They need help. They're like bratty, murderous little children that need discipline. And we, the people, have to put on our big boy and girl pants on and start fighting these people. Politically, we've got to just decimate them and just put down. I mean, these Democrats, these pseudo Democrats, are really showing their true colors by being opposed to border security. I mean, ask the vast majority of immigrants in America: Do they want border security? I mean, what do you, if you immigrated here legally? Okay, you don't want anybody getting a leapfrog. You don't want anybody cutting in line. Cutting in line is very unfair, and it's very un-American. It strikes a chord of injustice. No, we don't want that. Let's help people where they are. Let's help them in Honduras. Let's help them in Venezuela. Let's help them wherever they're suffering in Latin America. Absolutely, man. Show them how to run the show, man. They got a stock market. They got traders down there, do a Tobin tax there, start a basic income. People spend money in their local communities. How is that not good? Do you understand it? They're making up the austerity. They're imposing it on. This is on purpose. This is deliberate. This is the most imperative aspect of their, their evil scheme is to just get people to believe that it's hopeless. It's overwhelming. We've just got to see more and more poverty. And it's to save the planet. Now, now that you get it, you understand why we've been doing this. We can't have people being able to afford to drive a car. Obama spelled it out in Africa. We can't afford you having to use your air conditioner and, and, and heating and, and all this crap. No, no, no. You, the planet would boil over. So Obama was a perfect puppet for these people. They're right in our face now. They're doing this genocide right under our nose is what they're doing. This austerity is on purpose all over the world. Okay, so I'm not when I complain for America, I'm, I'm complaining for everybody. Do you understand? We're in this thing together as human beings. This is what God wants us to, to realize, that we are one family. We are one species. We are one race. And he wants us to all just be mature children, okay, and, and, and learn to, to love each other the way he wants us to, to care about each other, to look after each other just like we want for ourselves, all those things you want for yourself and your family. It's not hard to figure out. It's not hidden. It's not a secret. The creature comforts and all this. Yes, man. If you want it from yourself, then you got to want it for everybody. Say, God, you know what? Help me out here, man, and help me to be a better human being so I can please you and that I'm a fragrant aroma in your nostril. Help me go forth and fight the good fight for justice and fairness to be the rule of the day. You know, let me be one of those that hungers and thirsts for righteousness to be the rule of the day upon the earth. And let us live together in peace and harmony and safety and security and freedom and prosperity. All those good things we all want. We've got to want it for everybody. Okay, but the thing with America is whether we like it or not, okay, it's a bittersweet peel, pill 
being the most influential nation on earth. Okay, it's nothing to let go to your head as a Native American. It's a big responsibility. We are the trendsetter. Okay, we are the most influential. So it's our responsibility to get it together and to put this top political class in their place and say, look, you're not representing the people. Okay, that's it. We've got to have some clout to fire these people. To say no, we, we want you out, not just a recall. No, we want to we want to be able to hold their feet to the fire in a very publicly humiliating manner. Okay, that's it. We need uh, these politicians, these senators, and these Congress people, and the top intelligence agents. All these people that are very influential in the direction that the ship is going need to be held accountable. Okay, somehow we've got to do it, man. Because look what they've been getting away with for a long time. They, they raise our cost of living, and then they give themselves raises. Do you understand the, the kind of salaries these people are getting too much? I'd put them on minimum wage, let them get a dose of reality. Okay? Minimum wage workers, who can deny, are essential to the welfare of society. Who can say they're not? Who can say it? So who, why would you pick on them to subjugate and marginalize? In the mind of so many people that think they're good, decent, upright people going to church on Sunday and this and that on Monday, looking down on the homeless on Monday. But they don't, they, they don't get it. They don't understand the dire implications. People are literally dying, okay, from these policies. This is not funny, okay? It's not just about picking on the weak and saying, well, they're mental people, those homeless, or they're drug addicts, or they're lazy, or there's the despicable ones, the deplorables, the expendable ones. I mean, can you imagine? You think you're going to stand before God with that belief? This is serious stuff. Okay, picking on the on the poor who will literally work for peanuts, literally, to survive. Yet this is how you enslave people. Okay, it's not like they got to just take people in chains and all this. I know that there's these stories of, ch of slaves being in chains and all that. But now they've done it. They've got, the chains are invisible now. Now they're doing it by greater stealth. What do you think, minimum wage? If you have your an ever-increasing cost of living, cost of existing tax that you have to pay, and you're not given a commensurate pay, do you understand how hopeless the situation for the poorest among us is? And how wrong, how immoral, how unethical, how literally ungodly. Okay, ungodly. We're an ungodly nation now because of these people. And we at least have to get it. We have to save our own souls and just say, God Almighty, help us, please. God, help my neighbor to see and be empowered and to go forth and speak accordingly and think accordingly and behave accordingly and preach and teach accordingly. And really let us, let us understand that our welfare is inextricably intertwined, interconnected. And we've got to give a damn, man. We've got to look out for each other. You're not going to ever be okay. You're never, ever going to find true happiness without God's seal of approval. and Because he's the giver of all good things. And happiness is a good thing. And it's comprised of a lot of different components, a lot of different ingredients, a lot of facets to happiness. Okay? And one of them is that people need to be free. And money is, everything is involved in, in, in freedom. The money Okay, you can't be free unless you're financially free. And this is where they've got people. This is where they're stealing our wealth under the context, under the pretense, under the pretext of saving the planet. That's all they've got up their sleeve now. Okay, do you think they want you to understand that there's, I, I, I know I've digressed. I got away from this talk about this, you know, meeting this woman outside the local supermarket that I go to. She blew my mind, man. This woman was, she was like starry-eyed. I mean, this woman like was a bigger believer than me. But when she saw this thing, man, and she described what it looked like earlier, it was amazing. So I know, for one thing, that a lot of people in town saw this thing up in the sky. I know that. Dude, there wasn't a whisper on the local news. You think they're not getting marching orders? You think a lot of these journalists and reporters didn't get that story from some other people? That they didn't hear about it? Of course they did. They don't want to talk about it. Why? Because it's empowering. They don't want the general public to be empowered with the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. But this is exactly what God wants and what he's going to force on this planet. See how it's coming, how beautiful it is? The poetic justice here? 
You understand? I mean, if this starts happening so much, they're not going to be able to stop it. Can you imagine the, 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 the psychological implications on society when this starts happening a lot and the Air Force is just mom's a word? We don't know. Don't know. It, like they had to do back in the 40s and 50s. They bring in all these experts. No, it's a, just an anomaly and they'll explain it. Well, it's swamp gas rising up.